Hello everyone, here's a great little video for you which gives me a sense of deja vu. This here shows a Russian BTR being destroyed at very close range by a Ukrainian T-64 tank during a recent Russian attack on Zaporizhia district. We saw similar happen a few weeks ago, a BTR just driving up to a tank and getting hit at close range. And I think there was also a BMP that did similar. I've no idea why the driver did this, even Mystic Meg could predict what was going to happen here. I did wonder if the driver's vision was impaired by the coat cages and extra armour panels, but this one doesn't seem too bad. The front of the BTR seems to be pretty clear. Maybe Russia just decided to put simple jack in the driver's seat. Here's the geolocation. So the BTR was heading east, as shown. The T-64, where the blue marker is. Zoomed out north of a settlement called Zolota Nivia. This incident part of a larger Russian offensive that took place over the past few days, featuring about 40 Russian vehicles in total. Here's another incident from that same offensive. This is a great clip in its own right showing a turtle tank getting an RPG up its jacks from very close range. So, you can see the turtle tank pass by, and then a Ukrainian soldier pop out of the bushes and follow Oddball's advice to get them by the ass. This was here. So the RPG launched at the yellow marker, the tank heading south, but it was seen burnt out at the black market, so it did travel quite a way before being abandoned. Either the RPG set fire to it and it slowly burnt out, or we can't rule out something like a drone hitting it later, but the end result is the same. This you can see isn't far from the blue marker shown where the BTR was. This happened here, part of a two-pronged attack by Russia heading towards both Novo Ukrainka and Shaktarska. This is the situation on the 26th, and here today. So despite high vehicle losses, Russia did capture this territory and pushed to the outskirts of those two settlements, so it was a successful operation, unfortunately. This was in the red box shown here, near Vuladar. Between here and Vuladar is where Russia is also advancing. You can see one of those little isolated pockets opening up in the centre. This is Russia's tried and tested tactic, which does work despite high losses. Advance on the flanks, force Ukraine to retreat from the pocket, We've done this a lot. You can see it near Kurakova, where Ukraine is being pushed back to, starting to create more of these pockets. North of Kurakova, between that and the Avdivka offensive area, and then between Kurakova and Vuladar. So you can see what Russia's plan is here. Advance and link up to these two areas with the Avdivka offensive. Russia is making progress here, so it does seem to be working, despite high vehicle losses. Luckily it is nearing winter when offensives should grind to a halt which will hopefully give Ukraine time to rearm and reorganise in this area, if it can hold out. So that's it for this video, but before I finish I'm going to play a video from Stanov about the ongoing fundraiser win. Big thanks to everybody who's helped out so far, and take care everybody. Hello Supermimers community, my name is Sanif. Uh, I'm a volunteer that's been helping the Ukrainian military uh, for the past two and a half years. Uh, I live in Ukraine and have been here for about 10 years. Uh, at the start of the war, my good friend Yuri, who was my gym instructor, went to join the military and I stayed on to, to help support these guys. We've done lots of work along the way, uh, so thank you for everyone who supported us. Uh, we currently have a fundraiser ongoing for uh, an armoured vehicle. Uh, cyclist uh, for an armoured vehicle. It, it's going really well. We've raised nearly £10,000. We have got £15,000 to go. The vehicle has already been purchased uh, and is now at the garage. It's having a BMW engine installed and then it will be taken to Ukraine to have the ceramic and kev Kevlar uh, armor armaments installed. So with your continued support we'll be able to uh, bring this project to a successful conclusion. Thank you very much.